Not gonna lie, the colors are not reassuring. Like, why does it look like I'm yellow? Like, the stupid yellow light is making me, uh... Is making me yellow! God damn it. This is what I get for uh, having a broken light bulb. <laughs> um... Anyway. Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tyletronic, and welcome to Titan Chaser, or welcome back. Still not entirely sure if <clears throat> this is going to be the first episode or the last episode. In chronological order, this is the final episode, or at least the, the final episode as of playing through the experience. <clears throat> but for those of you who don't know, Titan Chaser is basically kind of a relaxing driving sim where you are working as a Titan Chaser, a person who goes around town, goes, goes around like uh, the map, making sure that the Titans stay away from human civilization. Now, do you keep them away to protect the humans from the titans, or do you keep them away to protect the titans from the human? This seems to be a question that the game's narrative does, uh, like, like, the protagonist does kind of wonder <laughs> in, in some of the voice lines that you get going around the map, you do actually uh, end up like questioning the why. Today is, uh, well, depending if this is a early Halloween uh, video or a belated, belated Halloween video, this is, uh, we, we are going to play the, uh, the, the Halloween special. Why is the light so yellow? <laughs> like, where, where, where's the yellow? F Am oh. I dreaming? Jasper doesn't strike me as a let's play game type. Anyway, the first one-eyed pumpkin is just across the street. Let's play a game. Follow the one-eyed pumpkin to find me, Jasper. <clears throat> okay, so... Look at that. Look at that beautiful thing over there. Mmm, where's the moon? There is no moon. Uh, it seems Jasper has something else on his mind, not just entertaining me with his pumpkin hunt. The other thing that's kind of different from like the normal game, which you either already know or will know, <coughs> is, uh, well, We're walking, unlike uh, the driving uh, sim parts that I mentioned before. Uh -huh. Lucy lived here. Nobody moved into this house after her mom died. I guess it's a creepy place for modern kids now. I don't wonder if these lines actually exist in a normal game. Like the Jasper ones, probably not. Pumpkin hunt. Same, but the Lucy part. I don't think it's Halloween specific, so. Like. 
the dev of this game is most likely extremely busy with more important things. I hope the dev actually is okay, doing okay, doing fine. But man, I would love to have more, uh, like, special, uh, more special, like, uh, <laughs> imagine like a winter special, where there's like a nice, nice snow, maybe a snowstorm, but just to keep, like, the creepy atmosphere is like, oh yeah, it's a snow, it's a snow titan that's bringing in a giant snow storm. And you have to track the giant snow titan down somehow. <laughs> Just enjoying the atmosphere. I'm pretty sure I am, I'm actually going the wrong way. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be going straight, I'm just technically following the, uh, the road instead. I've been here. Maybe after recording the Halloween special, I should try to do the epilogue that goes to Jasper, because it was one of the epics. So, I mean, maybe, like, canonically? Maybe canonically? The actual c canonical ending is, uh, the, uh... The Jasper. It's funny because I'm pretty sure I've seen like an actual like tutorial to how to model model a post that looks exactly like that. Like exactly like it. Like practically identical. It's kind of crazy. Oh. My parents' house stays back to back to the church, closest to God, as my mom used to say. Back to back? So... So... This is the house. Right? Hmm. Interesting. Wait. What? It's back to... Back to the... back to the church but this is the house that's back to back to the church but that's also the house to so this is not Jasper's house this would be the parents house wouldn't it Is the canonical ending you going back to your parents and then suddenly out of the blue after Jasper was removed for not being a good uh, handler sending you on dangerous missions or whatever you are okay, need to look for a pumpkin like like, you have a mysterious Jasper sending you a message. It's like, what? Impossible. Like, am I supposed to... Like... 
mind you, yes, I have played the Halloween special, like, a few years ago. Like, during the... During the plague years. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> so... I, I don't necessarily remember what I did last time to find my way. Is that normal sounds? That is so creepy. Like, I feel like I, I passed it somehow. Like, it's a pumpkin hunt, and I'm not seeing any pumpkins. It's like, man, it's gonna be an easy, small episode. No, no, Tyler, come on. It's never a small, easy episode. It has to be like two hours long. It's like, <sighs> like, it's funny because this game feels like it's gonna be like easy to edit, and then, it, but also technically, technically hard to edit. Because it's not like I'm not doing anything. Okay, so if we go back. Two. It was here on this road that I saw. Wait, wait. There it is. Okay. No. Hey. Oh. Uh, jump? Yeah, okay. <laughs> like, you know, there are certain places that I'm pretty sure they're in the main game, like this place, but I never technically, like, visited. Which, I feel like it would be amazing if you could have, like, an old Woodville cemetery. It hasn't been functional for a long time. I guess Windmill's Keeper was the last one buried here. A wind... wait. Oh, sorry. sorry. Windmill and Woodsville. My, my, my brain uh, kind of... <laughs> kind of... what now? A windmill cemetery? It's a little destroyed. It's a little destroyed. Like, what's kind of funny, though, is like, if you look at the tombstones, I don't think any of them have, well, actually, do any of them have names on them? No. No. <laughs> okay. They're, it, they're, they're all nameless tombstones. Which is fine. <laughs> which is fine. Like, I don't expect uh, the developer to actually, like, slapping a bunch of, like, uh, random names on them. But, like, what is interesting, though, is, like, no, none of them seem to have, like, a cross on top of them. Like, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Back to diff. There's a cross here. I was gonna say none of them looks like there has a cross on it. There is technically a church. I, I didn't actually notice if there was a cross on top because I, it's like I guess I technically kind of by default assume that. There was one. But like uh, you know. Actually, they never found the keeper's body, so the coffin was empty. He disappeared from his work post near Windland Plains. And now that place is Jasper's River House. Creepy. River House, okay. So is that where we would be? Okay, um... Uh, but like, you know, if you have a cemetery that has like no crosses in, and then you have a church that has not a cross, 
Like, you could technically kind of assume. So called Woodville witch lived here. She was a windmill keeper's widow. After his funeral, she never abided the lockdown rules, and we often would hear her walking around and laughing hysterically. Hysterically. It's funny how she said that last one. Hysterically. It's kind of creepy. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, I know, I'm not recording when it's uh, night outside. I can't technically record when it's night outside because uh, other uh, other stuff. Like, oh, the particles, the fire particles of the... The particles of the pumpkin. But yeah, like... Like... In environmental world building, if you technically have like a. We have the radio. If we technically have like a cemetery and a church and. There is no crosses or like. You can kind of like easily grasp the. Uh, oh! In this fictional setting, the cross. Like, like Christianity either doesn't exist or the symbolism of the religion is completely different or whatever. But yeah, no, there's a cross on the tombstone and there most likely is one on the church. It's just like... Once during another lockdown, her house was caught on fire somehow. Oh. No one dared to go outside and help. So Lucy, her mom and I went to check on her the next oh. night when the restrictions were lifted. I see. But yeah. Like, easy, uh... We found her house ruined, with only her self-portrait still hanging on the wall. And it's still there. But no one would steal the painting, fearing the old witch's curse. So we started searching for a Woodville witch. Uh... But yeah, like... <laughs> like, part of me kind of wonders... If I were to... The light is so bright, it looks like there's a, there are trees growing on the other side of that uh, giant pumpkin... Yeah. <laughs> giant pumpkin face. Uh, yeah. I, I, I like... I, I would really like if there were other specials. Okay, so I need to look for blows. That's what I need to look for. Good to know. <clears throat> it's all coming back to me. I was literally going the wrong way. I was going towards him. Oh, it's the big boy. White shoe season is just around the corner. Why is you the tree? It's a different tree. What's this tree about? Oh. Uh. Okay. Give me a moment. There's a there's an actual pumpkin over there. This was her favorite spot when the weather was good. Okay. She would listen to her favorite radio show and wave to the cars passing by. Mm. But her chair was empty, so we went mm. further into the black woods. Wait, where are we? So yeah, obviously the next one is here. But well, why is it? This is our global. Is it lights? I want to ask you what's the most frightening. 
so weird. Change his colors. A weeping willow. Yeah. People hang themselves here during the depression. And we were afraid Woodville Witch would do the same. But we found only some strange light bulb up on the tree. Oh. And it still works 20 years later. Somehow. So that's probably the reason why it's a purple, pink, purple, pink, purple, weeping willow looking thing. Okay, so from this one, this one for like, come on, give me an egg hunt. Give me, <laughs> like, like, I, I, I'm just, you know, kind of being funny, though I, I would definitely love more specials, or at least more games from the developers set in the same kind of general region. It would be kind of nice, because, uh, like, the atmosphere of the, oh, no, wait, no, that's where I came from, right? Like, the atmosphere and the writing of kind of the atmosphere of all of the stuff that we're listening to. It's like, I like it. I like it. It's just like set in a world where titans are real, where basically you are... Oh, wait. Oh, that's where I came from. Wait. So... I think I'm losing the. Uh, okay, so you know her. Yeah. Okay. Uh, like set in the world where titans are real, and uh, there was a. There are lockdowns, kind of like mirroring, I'm assuming, the lockdowns that we had during the pandemic. <clears throat> like, I'm assuming that's what uh, the, maybe the inspiration behind it was. Maybe it's something else. Looking for... It has to be... I am glad that the tree is... I think I found it. That seemed far. Wait, what was that? The soft particle. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, it's... This is the old stables built by a windmill keeper when he and his wife were happy diner owners. After they lost it, all horses have been sold to Bright City Mayor. And stables remained empty ever since. Okay. But yeah, like, I feel like it would be kind of interesting, like, revisiting this area with, like, other specials, like a Christmas special, or, like, an Easter special, or whatever. Kind of exploring, like, local legends, because it seems, at least for this one, it's very, like, focused on the windmill. The windmill, the windmill keeper, <laughs> and his wife, because it all seems to be like all the pumpkins seem to be kind of connected to it, kind of, except for a few back, back in uh, Woodville, if that was the name. We thought Woodville witch would go here after her house burned. But we found only a patch of her hair hanging on the south entrance. I'm sorry, what? A patch of her hair hanging on the south entrance. Do I do I wanna look for it? Is this just like something in the audio or 
did the devs actually bother to place that around? Because that would be kind of like a patch of hair, like uh, made into like a creepy kind of hair doll of the situation. No, no, I don't, I don't think I'm seeing a patch of hair. Could be because it's dark. Oh, here's the next one. Because it's nice, it's atmospheric. Like, I'm just imagining, like... We were pretty much lost at this point, but then saw the lights of the diner. Woodville Witch and her husband owned it when they were young, but it was abandoned for years. So we decided to check it. The diner? Are we close to the diner? Oh. Oh, wait. Is that what I remember? Like, I, I remember that the. Wasn't there like a story related to the diner? It was like, was it, was it this? Like, this is the reason why, like, I feel like there's extra lines. Like, all the lines of like the previous playthrough are here, but like, it seems like some of the lines that are specific for this, like for the narrative, for the story of this, were added on the Halloween map, which I would be so fascinated. If there was like other stuff, like like I said, I I would not mind like a oh a yeah there it is oh wow there's more the diner was a delightful place before the bright city mayor pushed the roads renovation plan and oh. the district took the diner from its owners to demolish it and make a wider highway what. Is that what happened? Like, I'm just imagining, like, the same environment, but, like, kind of, like, snowy. I don't know if I would want it to be night and snowy. Because uh, night and snowy, like, in a stove storm, <laughs> that would be, like, almost impossible to see. But, like, day in a stove storm can technically be still seen properly. Here's the story. The diner's owner lost his income and became a windmill keeper. But the mayor was put behind bars for the corruption and his renovation plan never went through. So we still have bumpy roads and abandoned diner. Uh, yo cola, yo cola. So they were once diner owners and they became windmill keepers because of how bad the business was. We were pretty sure we saw some figure running south from the diner demolished wall, so we went there to check it. It's also kind of funny because it feels like what I'm going through is just a retelling. We're, we're traveling exactly in the same direction that she once did, once upon a time. Is this south? I'm assuming it's south. Is this where the tree is? Am I seeing rain or am I seeing something else? It would be kind of funny that I'm not leading to uh... Like... Uh, I mean, we're gonna go towards the tree. Maybe <laughs> the tree is the right direction. I don't know which side is south. I don't have access to uh, a compass as far as I'm aware.
So if there is no pumpkin here, we're gonna go back to the diner and just look around. To celebrate his road renovation plan, Bright City Mayor planted this rare exotic tree, but it withered the same year he was condemned. So new authorities had the lights installed here to make it the symbol of defeated corruption. Weird, if you ask me. I feel like this is a different line. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh-oh. Is this... Is this the ending? Mr. Pumpkin? When we stepped away from the lights, we saw a figure running across the beach to the ocean. I'm sure it was a man, but it makes no sense, so we went after. Jasper, though, is it? We didn't find anyone that night, but on the other day, Woodville Witch's clothes were washed ashore here. You found she me. She was declared dead, and another empty coffin was buried in the old cemetery. It is now, Jasper. For the last time. Wake up now. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. Like. Oh, like, I'm just imagining, like, trying to uh, go through, like, different, like, celebrations, like, Halloween special, Christmas special, Easter special, having, like, different, maybe, titans, or different, like, sub-stories. Like, maybe, like, the Easter special, you're hunting down, like, an Easter bunny titan that's just leaving, like, uh, <laughs> giant Easter eggs. <laughs> Laying around, tracking, tracking the Easter, the Easter type, or something like, uh, like uh, Krampus, I guess. Like tracking like a Titan Krampus type creature in like a giant snowstorm uh, version of uh, the map. But yeah, like, I don't know if we're ever going to get more of Titan Chaser, but I wouldn't be against it, is what I'm saying, basically. <laughs> because it's fun, calm, atmospheric, like, th th there is a certain charm to it, and I really like it, and I really, really like it. Like, first time around, I enjoyed it. Second time around, yeah. Now that, now that I'm kind of trying to, like, build my my own, like, library of, like, three uh, of, like, <laughs> of uh, 3D assets to kind of try to build my own, kind of, my own environments, because I'm trying to, <laughs> you know how manga artists and comic book artists uh, use re reference material to uh, for, for their environments. I, I kind of want to have like to build my modular kits <laughs> to build a modular kit of 3D assets so I can build my own 3D environments. My own references so I can draw on top of it. 
either draw on top of it or either literally just use as the environment. Probably draw on top of it to kind of match the style. But still, this is this this is not about me. This is not about the comic book that I the comic book series that I want to make. But you know, it's a, it's kind of like a, a bit of a sneak peek of behind the scenes of what I'm doing when I'm not editing videos or recording let's plays. Anyway, I enjoyed the game as always. Link in the description down below. Cute game. I, I, I don't think cute is probably the right word. Um, it's a fun game. It's an enjoyable experience. I really appreciate the developer for making it. And I hope that wherever he is, whatever is happening in his life, everything is okay. And hopefully, he'll be making more games in the future. More games that, that in the same vein as this, because I really like this one. Like, I don't know how many people enjoyed it, or whatever, but I enjoyed it. So, thank you, lovely people, for staying with me. Till uh, for the... Don't know if this is the last video you've seen, or this is the first one in the series, so... Uh, I guess we'll see in the editing process, but uh, don't forget to like the video, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Leave a comment in the comment section down below if you have any other games that uh, you would like me to try, and I'll see you lovely people in the next video. Bye bye.